Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, September 13th, 2022 at um 4.13 a.m. So other than that humming over there, it's um pretty quiet. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, so I was able to get, I went to bed or went to sleep where there's no bed, you know, but on this concrete, I went to sleep at exactly nine o'clock last night. And all I was able to get was like, so far, I, I think I woke up at it was, I think it was before um, 3 o'clock, I woke up and had to use the bathroom. And then I check, you know, online messages like YouTube and Twitter and stuff like that. So, um, well, I can't go back to sleep. But I need to. I need more than um, five or six hours of sleep. But I just can't. I can't go back to sleep. So I'm glad I have sweatpants on. Well, pants, you know. I'm glad I have pants on because other people might think this temperature feels good. But me, I'm cold. I feel cold. And I have light goosebumps so it's about time for me to have to start to whip out my sneakers or tennis shoes and socks and um my tennis shoes and socks and um and hoodie or jacket and pants now so I don't know if this is just a cold front or if the weather's really changing. I guess the weather's starting to change, maybe. Um, like, I really think it's a cold front. But um, it ain't that cold, cold. But it's cold enough to be uncomfortable for me. <clears throat> it might be in the early 70s temperature for me, you know. But not all summer, but I guess ever since I... um had to quit at Avis. I've been wearing those, wait, can y'all see those black flip-flops? Like, almost all summer just wearing flip-flops and really no tennis shoes, or in New Orleans they call them tennis shoes, or sneakers. They call them, like, New York, they call them sneakers, but in New Orleans they call them tennis tennis shoes. Uh, Um, like if they, when you want to talk about tennis shoes or sneakers in New Orleans, they say them tennis. Like those tennis, I mean those shoe tennis shoe sneakers or whatever. So um, yeah, I guess growing up <clears throat> we call sneakers tennis shoes. You know. So um, I need to. I mean, I bought a recent pair of. Recently bought a new pair of um, shoes from Ross that was, and that was with one of the last work paychecks from Avis. And those shoes were Avia. <laughs> I didn't even do it on purpose, but um, it was like $19.99 or something at Ross. And, um, it was like nineteen ninety nine at Ross, and I, I didn't even really get to try them on, but <clears throat> I think they are size nine or something. But um, <clears throat> but either those, or I think I might have those Reeboks still that I've been having since two thousand twenty. I think, and I I have the shoes that I bought um, with the stimulus check, it was like $50 for those pair of shoes and the other one was like 
60 something. Well, that one was 45 or 40 something dollars. <clears throat> and then the other pair was like 60 and which total 110 for two pairs of shoes total. Not 110 each, but 110 combined for two pairs of shoes in 2021, you, you know, with the stimulus check. And so the online perps, they lied and over-exaggerated and said that I had two pairs of shoes each, $200 each, and that I spent over $400 on a pair of shoes, on two pairs of shoes, you know. And then, you know, of course, they keep lying and saying, don't donate Candy any money because she's hoarding a lot of money in her storage unit. I'll be lucky if I have one penny of cash in my storage unit. You know, so, um, and right now, I wouldn't be surprised if I have $3 in cash on me, you know, and that's to be used for bus fare and stuff, but I was trying to say yesterday that I'm almost broke, you know, and I'm supposed to start, I mean, I was too, too tired yesterday, I just couldn't do it. Um, still trying to recuperate and recover from the sleep deprivation. And I'm hoping that after this video, I can try to get me some more sleep. <clears throat> but I got a long day ahead of me with errands to run and trying to get laundry done, trying to get a shower. And they caused, I mean, I had to pee so many times yesterday. <clears throat> and I guess um, after I got sleep and then the fluid, the excess fluid, being released from my heart like I can feel it when I pee because after the fluid build up from the sleep deprivation and then when I start getting better sleep then um I end up you know the fluid being released from my heart and my ankles and everything and I pee more often and then they end up doing the forced urination and um stuff like that you know but it's like they must be really mad at me because ever since after the incident with the tranny, they've been severely sleep depriving me. So, um, <clears throat> well, last night I got six hours of sleep and I think I got between six and eight off and on the night before. But now I feel bad because my pants and undies are wet and it was so wet that my bladder pad had fell off. You know, and, I, and so I got to get a shower and change the clothes as soon as possible. But I just got to tomorrow. I mean, later on today, I got to put on an outfit that, that doesn't feel really comfortable after I take a, a shower. And I'm hoping I can still fit it. And then, you know, I, 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 I desperately need to do laundry. I desperately need to do laundry, you know. So, um, so I need to do laundry and, um, I, I mean, so it's like now I, I have a few more, little, a couple of more little extra outfits and stuff, you know, but hopefully, I mean, I'm worried about if I will have enough today to be able to make it to where I don't have to ask for anything tomorrow or if I won't have to be, um, I mean, I can't really say, as I say, you know, I can't really say what kind of job it is because the, well, I wouldn't be surprised if the online perps, if they already know, because it's like you, me trying to hide and be discreet or secretive and how they still find out, but they think that, hold on. They think that I'm not that bright. They feel like Candy's stupid or, oh, she's such a dumbass. You know, they, they really think that I'm not that intelligent. <clears throat> so, um, well, I'm not that good at being secretive or hiding, you know, and I'm already being followed. It's like... They were gang stalking me super heavy yesterday, like as if they're mad at me um, for finally getting another job again. 
I mean, as I said, to keep up the false narrative that I'm lazy and don't want to work and that I just want to mooch and freeload off everybody and that I'm entitled and stuff like that, you know, but I mean, I, will, I wish I could, you know, <clears throat> I mean, I wish I could make a financial living from my writings and I enjoy that and have fun with that, you know, but it's been a long time. I think it's been since May. I think it's been late May or early June or something. Probably late May that I find, that I um was the last time anybody donated to my Kofi from my writings and stuff. You know. And so I mean, so I mean, um, so yeah, I mean, um, well, those are my shoes right there. Those are Puma, P-U-M-A. I'm not even a big Puma person, but I just got them because they were nine ninety nine. You know, and then when I said I spent like under $20 on a pair of shoes. <clears throat> and then the online perps, they switch, they switch it and lie and say that Candy spent over $200 on a pair of shoes. It's like they, they have an issue with me even having a job and working and even independently spending money from jobs that I worked. You know, I mean with me trying to treat myself, you know, even to a small $25 dinner with my tax refund check from my work, I mean, from my job, you know, I earned that. And they still make it like as if I wasn't supposed to go and treat myself and, you know, give myself pat on the back. I mean, pat on the back, you know. And when... I got employee of the week award, you know, they try to say, well, who told you the online perps, JD Marat and shit. Now, that's another one. I accidentally left out her name. She would be another one I would have heavy unwanted intrusive thoughts about, you know, she's one of them that's trying to sex traffic me. And I believe that Star Bricker and Stefan Adams are involved in sex trafficking as well. Because they don't want you to repeat. They don't want you to expose the dirty things that they that they say. But Stefan Adams, he has, he, I don't know how he was able to get video or picture footage. And he publicized that online of Brian too doing the M word. I can't really say it, you know, if you get what I mean, um, doing the M word. And it's like, how, how, if Brian too was in all these different countries, how is, um, how was Stefan Adams able to get footage of Brian too doing something so personal? Now he put that out there for all to see. But then y'all want to, um, you know, trying to talk about me violating the terms of service for exposing y'all, um, y'all bragging about the, the, the cyber crimes that y'all do to targeted individuals. So, I mean, I believe that Steph, Stephon Adams is cyber, um, he's like cyber sex trafficking Brian too, and he's, you know, um, cyber stalking and her, I know he's cyber stalking and cyber harassing Brian too. And now Kevin Christian and a few others. And also now me, cause they want to do their fake, um, blog posts about me too, you know, and all these people who are getting paid to discredit me and excuse me, they getting paid to discredit me. And stuff like that, you know. So, 
And it's like, um, it's really crazy how, um, you know, was what, what they're doing, you know. I mean, J. Demon Rotten shit, talking about who told you you can go and get Chilean sea bass and stuff like that, you know. I mean, at least I worked for it. And I didn't ask to or beg for nothing. And then the online perps, they were lying on me and saying that when I had the um when I had the job at the schools, they lied on me and said that I was even begging for money when I was working, which is not true. I was getting paid every day and just barely making I was getting paid like seventy two dollars a day and just barely making it. I was just barely making it. And it's like, all, like whatever job that I would have, it's like physically demanding. Even this new job, whatever. I mean, I need as much sleep and rest as possible. Excuse me. Um, I mean... As I said, I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? Um, like, I almost was tempted. To, I mean, I was, I didn't realize yesterday was another day of training. You know, I wasn't sure, you know. Um, and it's like, I almost wanted to quit yesterday. But I, fi- I figured, no, I'm going to try to stick with it because I know this guy that's training me is a dog on perp. So by him being a perp, of course, he was going to be negative and discouraging. And he was the type that if I asked certain questions, he, would, he wouldn't he would give me a straight answer. And then if I asked him again, he would get an attitude. You know, and all he can be like, you can't be nervous now. You can't be nervous. Well, me dealing with the dog on perp, and I mean, and I know you are perp. Of course, that gonna make me more nervous. You know. So um, it was the very first time I had any. Like, since 2018. And I told him that, you know. I'm, like, trying to tell him, don't be so hard on me. You know, it's been since 2018, since I had any, like, well, I did a tiny bit in 2019, you know, off and on. But it's been since 2018 that I had any real, 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 road driving you know so I did like some real driving yesterday um for about three hours you know but I'm sitting here trying to survive and trying to live and um you know, if teenager high schoolers can perp me and drive around with one hand like like what happened yesterday, and I didn't even get to catch him on field because of the rain, and then I, it was so close to the the bus was just right about to come, so I couldn't even grab out my phone and um try to film him, and I didn't realize that he was a child and, until he got close by, and it was a kind of a a truck that sits high, and it was like um a white, a big bright one headlight, a bright white one headlight. And then that he looked like a freaking high schooler. He looked like I'm, I'm sure he looked like as if I'm sure he was under 18 years old. You know? So, I mean, I remember learning in driver's ed that, um, I, I remember learning in driver's ed that um, 
in driver's ed, I learned that they said that if you haven't driven or if you, it's been a while, if you never drove before, if it's been a while, that it takes like three days to build or rebuild confidence in driving again, you know? So, um, so, I mean, the perps love to brag about how they, the online perps love to brag about how they figured out where my job was or what hotel or restaurant I've been at. And it's like really, I mean, you know, other targeted individuals, they don't get treated like this. <clears throat> you know, that I basically have, they think they have the authority to strip me from having rights, you know, so everybody else, they have more rights than I do. I mean, they freak out if they find out, oh, Candy drunk a glass of water. Or, oh, Candy's breathing air. You know, then they have a freaking meltdown. Oh, they find that out. Oh, I'm greedy if I eat just a freaking peppermint. I, base, I mean, they shun me for eating healthy, or they shun me for eating junk food, too. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. You know, and, and they should just, as I said, just back away and mind their business, you know. And they really think they have the authority to um, stalk, follow, and harass. I mean, I just freaking pitch or imagine their asses with um, pitchforks, horns, and, t and a tail. Like, they're actually devils running around, you know? And they proudly sold their souls and glad. And, you know, people who claim to be God's chosen, the God's, I mean, God's chosen elect and what? The 144,000, y'all call yourselves empowered individuals. Those are the popular fake TI perps. They all huddle together and go around bullying targets that are still suffering. And then another target that will still be suffering, too many of them associated with new age, black magic, occult, witchcraft, tarot card reading and being a psychic and all that <clears throat> clairvoyance and then you know they got some who profess to be Christian and dabbling into the occult <clears throat> or you know and, and they just want to falsely paint me to be the one who's just super demon possessed you know, <clears throat> they try to falsely make it like I'm the one that's demon possessing an emotionless robot and all that. Like, no, that's y'all. Y'all already sold out. You know, and it's like, what make y'all still think that y'all can thwart or overpower God's plans? I mean, what make y'all think that y'all can overpower God's plan? <clears throat> I mean, if God says that if God gives someone to the permission to, you know, have it on their heart <clears throat> to, um, you know, feed me a nice meal or donate me the money for a nice meal, you know, go treat yourself. Who are you to think you got the authority to take that away? I mean, J. Demon Rotten shit is sitting there doing fake videos, having fake meltdowns over me eating three meals a day and trying to make it like I'm not supposed to have three meals a day. And then she tried to say, oh, well, you know, in America, we so conditioned to believe that we, we got to eat three meals a day and all that. Well, I'm going to say it again. You used to be fat. 
oh, that's love handles from having a child. You had over 10 years to lose the fucking weight, bitch. So, um, you know, stop being obsessed with my dog on weight and eating habits. When, as I said, when, the, I mean, with me being homeless, I don't really have the convenience to, to, you know, the convenience or the opportunity. I don't have food storage to be able to eat healthy as I, as healthy as I want to, you as I would like to, you know, but when you eat healthier, you have more nutrients in your body. So therefore your, your body stays full longer and you don't need to eat as much. But when you're eating freaking processed junk, of course, you're going to stay hungry all day. So, I mean, fake shit a burger, what a burger. Yesterday, that girl named, um, I can't, I'm, Deja or something like that. Um, Deja or Deja, something at um, fake shit a burger, what a burger. Um, when I went there, like, they had, as soon as I, I had to take an Uber yesterday morning to make sure I was, you know, on time because the bus is running weird. But um, the Uber driver was very nice and um, had, like, the cleanest. He had, like, a silver Durango, and it was, like, the cleanest doggone, the cleanest doggone vehicle I ever rode in. <laughs> like, you know. So, um, so he was really nice. And, you know, did a great job and stuff. So the instant we got, the, like, the perps, there was white perps that were um, male and female. And I got off by fake shit burger, you know, to eat breakfast. I didn't even want to eat there, but I ate there. And, and so um, I got... The moment I got out of the Uber, it was some perps waiting for me in the parking lot. And then it's like, damn, how the fuck y'all find me with this brand new phone? <clears throat> you know? So they um, were waiting for me in advance and then turned on the ignition and start to drive off. Um, the instant, like almost immediately after I got out of the Uber. And so then I went to go and go to Whataburger and eat because I had to use the bathroom so bad, you know, <clears throat> and then, um, how much was my meal? Um. I think it was under seven dollars or something, but um, health-wise, I can't really be eating like that. Um, and, and then it's like when the girl got an attitude with me because Deja or whatever her name is, <coughs> she got an attitude with me, and so it's like. When I, I when I asked for grits as a side and she had an attitude, said we don't have grits, like real, rude, very fucking rude. It's like yesterday was the biological mom's death anniversary, and it's like wow, every person I encountered was just freaking rude yesterday. You know. So um, come on, man. So every person I encountered was rude to me yesterday. You know, it's like I can't believe people are like this. Well, in the afternoon, you know, once I got back downtown, then everything started to be back normal again. But when I was out and about yesterday, everywhere I went and every everybody I talked to, everybody can except the Uber driver, but everybody else, you know, everybody I came in contact with was so freaking mean towards me yesterday, you know. 
So, um, <clears throat> I mean, I can't even really go into detail saying what I really want to say, but it's 4.44 a.m. I just checked the time, and it's been 30 minutes since I've been talking, so I might as well um, try to go and um, try. I, sh I should try to go and, um, you know, try to see if I can get me some more sleep. I need it. So y'all keep me in your prayers. And I hope the job goes well, but it doesn't it doesn't have a good look so far. But I'm going to keep trying to push it. This is probably going to be my last freaking job opportunity I try. <laughs>